Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neathhoek? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant raider attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Oh. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden hero. The Giants. Fay herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home.
Sure, I've been back to these parts since our great battle was seeking. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I did. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. Something you need to do before we find the Norns? The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal and wise. Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. Set that aside for now. Come. The Norns live in a well. No. The Well of Earth, their home, is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. Hold. The wolves are distracted. Watch the fire! That's all of them. These were cold leaves. Infamous. Eating wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit later. So the Norn's domain is like...
being inside your mind. I'm not so sure I like the sound of that. Come here. Have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Freya's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Hold! What is that? That's part of Tyr's statue. Defend the peace. I remember the Jotnar crafting these bracers for Tyr's statue. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor him. The giants were not wrong. Was there more? Of Odin and the Norns? No. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Wait! Do you see? The Oarsmen. Ugh. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. When you want to find the Norns, we'll return for the sled. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. There must be another way around. Oh! Ah! 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 
Sigrun told me her kingdom housed a great treasury, filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. staircase. Those runes over there can shed. What? No, she never mentioned. Is that a key? What lock that key belongs to? No lock. It is broken. No, no. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. those runes say? Secret. If you love another, a king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love, but her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mimir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. <laughs> You were asking about my last visit to the moon. 
Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. The wolves lead us here. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. And war. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Nords, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. What's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Tales of time travel only strain credulity. 
I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. I've always wanted to ask. What was it Green Thor whispered to you? Who? Green Thor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason. He disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. 
One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. Brother! Look. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's astute of the elves. Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye, best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. Now, if we could get back to the story of Finthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bed. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Brother! Seems the wolves have led us here. <laughs> Let's see. Ah! I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. <laughs> it's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Bingo! Left light! This search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <laughs> what is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've been studying and I can forge some new equipment for you. <laughs> Can't believe we missed this. Mamir, look. Another Fjotalun marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Secret Kingdom. <laughs> A first outpost preceding further expansion. Shame they didn't leave that one over this gap.
The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. <laughs> There must be some way to move it. Freya, can we return to your story of Fiendthor? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half-drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthor! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. No more for now. Focus. Whatever you're after this way, I'll back you up. But when you want to find the Norns, we'll need to go back to the sled. Getting back to your story, Freya. You granted an audience to Hrimthur after he finished building Asgard's wall. What at long last did he whisper to you? Well, he said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they burned for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better, and continued. He said he built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Aye. Blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Freya, something your brother said. The Aesir burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Enough talk for now. Be ready. <laughs> Well, Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Wait. The wolves cannot focus. Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Oh! <laughs> 
That is all of them. <gasps> Still wine. Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves' fear now can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that.
Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. We need to work our way up. This way. Way through the ice? Oh, are the gnomes making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> 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 the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. <laughs> Open We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look?
Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made on Whitting Guard. Delightful. <laughs>